And if you talk to me then. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is I want you to sit nice and tall on your mat. Don't take notes, we're gonna work, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's just sit nice and tall. And I want you to feel grounded. So shift your weight back and forth so you can feel your hip bones down below. We're gonna start with just a couple of breaths. So I want you to go back to the body principle. Big deep breath in. And then as you exhale, just let it go. Two more times. Breath in and breath out. From here, we're gonna take your hands out in front and we're gonna roll all the way down onto our backs and we're gonna come right into 100. We're not gonna use the band yet. So as you're down, let's begin by bending your knees. So your feet are on the mat. Curl your chin to your chest. Bring your hands beside you, palms down. And now we're gonna breathe in and out for four, three, two, one. Extend your right foot out and four, three, two, one. Keep your chin and chest lifted. Lower the right foot down, left leg to left. Four, three, two, one. Now both legs lift, heels together and pump. Curl up another inch, can you come up? And four. Three, two, one, lower down for four. Three, two, one, and lift for four. Three, two, one, hold, 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 and lower your feet. Extend them all the way out. We're gonna go right into spine stretch forward, bringing it forward and stack it up. So soften through your shoulders. Notice what your shoulders are doing over there. <laughs> Let's take it forward. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Cross your arms, sit nice and tall. This is called hinge back. And you're gonna hinge it back for eight, seven, so slow down. Four, or not four, seven, that'd be six. Five, four, three, two. I want you to really slow down here. Don't, if you remember, less is not more. Now hold it here, extend your arm, engage your core, and now lift your arms for eight, seven, six, Five, hold them down. Now lower them here. Now when you lift, biceps beside your ears and then bring them down. So it's not lifting and lowering like this. It's control and lift. So both of you guys sit tall. You wanted it, Anna. <laughs> it's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> you wanted it. Wonderfully hard. So. From here, I want you to just lift your arms, biceps, both in alignment with your ears. Now lower them down. Now hinge back. Engage. Don't go back quite as far. And lift those arms and lower for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, now bring it all the way up. Bend your knees, we're gonna start. We're gonna roll back, but we're not gonna go into rolling like a ball on camera. Mm -hmm. So I want you to draw your knees in, and you're gonna roll yourself back and extend one leg out. This is single leg stretch here. So bringing your hands on either side of your shin and then switch for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower one leg down. And now we're going to go into single leg circles here. Circle it out and around and up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two 
And one lead that leg down. Now let's go to the other side. So lift it up, point your toes, circle up. Hand to the hip if you feel movement. And circle for seven. And six. Five. Four. And three. Two. And one, now I want you to roll yourself up. So you're not coming up off the mat. Your hands are on both sides this time. Now we're gonna go into double leg stretch. So you're going to extend everything out. The bicep and the ears are gonna line here and then circle it around. For eight, seven, six, five. Great breathing, I don't know which one you guys are doing, but don't hold your breath, keep breathing. And four, three, two, and one. Lower down, bring one leg up. This time we're gonna go on the opposite leg. No, we're gonna go the opposite direction. So whatever leg you started on, so you're gonna circle it down, out, and around for eight, seven, six, five, four, okay, one more. And now go ahead and lower that leg down. Let's go to the other leg. Extend, point through your toes, stabilize through your hips, lower it down, out, and around. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now lower your legs, bring your feet to the mat. We have not done these yet. So this is called shoulder bridge. So you're gonna plant your feet on the floor and sometimes it's called bridges, but when you yeah. do them in Pilates, hands are down. I want you to think about having masking tape on your spine and you're gonna roll yourself all the way up and then release and roll all the way down. So you're articulating from your spine as you roll yourself all the way down. Let's do it again. So again, think about that masking tape and you're peeling up and then releasing all the way down. Now with the next one, we're gonna hold it at the top and you're gonna extend your right leg all the way to the ceiling. From here, maintain stability through your pelvis and you're gonna take that leg and drop it heel to the floor and then lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Lower your foot to the floor. Let's go to the other side. So keep, you need to realign your hips. This is the time to do it. Take your other leg up, point your toe, and then heel to floor for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Now lower your hips. Bring both legs in toward your midline. Bringing them into tabletop position here. And now, together, you're gonna lift one leg up. This is called scissors. So you're gonna point through your toe, and then we're gonna switch to floor eight. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Now bring your legs together. Connect your heels, lower your upper body down. And we're going to lower and lift. Now, when you lower, you're gonna know, <laughs> I want you to look at me here. This is what we haven't done in class. You're gonna lower, it's called 45 degrees. So you do not want to dump into your lower back here. And lower for eight, seven, six, five, 
four. Let's keep playing. She's <laughs> making me laugh. Two. And one, now draw your knees to your chest, roll yourself up, separate your legs as wide as the mat, bring your arms out to a T position. This is called spine articulation. And again, so what we're gonna do is you're going to, let's start with our elbows bent first. We're gonna do four with them bent, and then eight with them extended. So when you rotate, you're just gonna to come to your center, but you're rotating. Now look at your hips. Is one wanting to move? Bring it back to center. Go to the other side. And now let's pick up the pace. And we have three. Two. One more. Now from here, extend your arms. And you're going to rotate. So this is not soft. We'll go there next. <laughs> so you're rotating so that if you think about the movement here, this is through your side body, which the muscles are called obliques. Keep going. So it's not forcing. Right, let's continue here for four. Three. Two. And when I keep your arms out, we're gonna go right into saw. So you're gonna just remember as a reminder for your fingers, you're going to rotate, bring your hand. Now the back hand is really active. And now you're gonna reach and reach up to center. And then rotate, but that back hand, look at my finger, reach and reach. So the front, the thumbs down, the back, the pinkies. Correct. Up. Yes. Or whatever. No, the front, the thumbs up and yes. and the pinkies up in the back. Yes. Okay. And then it's it's like, like, it's like, remember before when I said, it's like when you're, if you think about somebody sawing, so you're saw, saw, bring it center. And then you rotate, saw, saw, and bring it, rotate. Now, from here, just go ahead and lower your arms down. This is not part of the, um, it's part of standing series, but we're going to do it seated. And then you're going to bring your arms out to a T position. And I want you to think about, um, and these are called the arm circles. And I'm going to talk you through them. You have not done these. So you're going to make little tiny circles with your arms, circling around for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause now, reverse for eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now you're gonna cup your hand and you're gonna rotate your hand upward like you're opening a jar here. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I want you to point your thumbs down, lean yourself slightly forward. And now you're going to press those palms back and press, but not overly exuberant here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way up. We're going back to the arm circles. This time you're going to reverse them for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cup your hand and rotate up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your hands back, lift them a little higher this time and pulse them together. Take the upper mid back with this and arms for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way forward and breathe. Let's do rolling like a ball. So you're going to come to the front of your mat. <laughs> and this is one I showed you on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So when you do rolling like a ball, you want to think about <laughs> drawing everything in. And I hope I can do this with my jacket on. If I can't, I'll have to take it off. So you're going to draw everything in. You can hold on 
to the outside of your legs like I have them, or you can also hold on behind. But you want, don't let your head come up and definitely don't let your neck flop back. So you want to think about chin into your chest as you're doing this. I sometimes even like to cross my ankles. I feel I have more control. So you're going to stay rounded, roll back, and up. Yep, good. Keep going. If you can keep going, that's why it's called rolling like a ball. Let's do four more. Yes. Look at you guys. Okay, now from here, once you're up, I want you to take your shins, lift them, and open them out. This is the beginning stages of open leg rocker. We're not rocking though, but we are going to do a teaser. We're not rocking by choice. <laughs> <laughs> I am rocking, but it's not by choice. Okay, oh. bring your legs a little closer together. Now, can you lift your arms? This is teaser, smile. You guys want to Pilates. This is classic Pilates. Look on the textbook cover. This is it. Slow down. Whew. That was awesome. Hi, Kenya. Hi. How are you? I was here on time. Coming here, went to reach my phone, couldn't find it. Went back to the car, wasn't there. Looked everywhere. Oh no. Went to the bookstore and called it, and a girl answered. She was in the Curtis and Mott. She was like, I was going to take it to safety, but I can meet you and give it to you. I was oh. Like, oh. So, can I shut the video off now? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can you? How do I do it here? Just touch it, the screen. Just, just push it on, and it'll be fine. And then, and again. 